Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Climb Induction Pro textile jacket. When it gets really hot outside, you want as much airflow as you can get without compromising on protection. That's where jackets like this Climb Induction Pro come in. This is absolutely covered in a high breathing mesh that's also resistant to tears and abrasion. This jacket really does let in a huge amount of air, but it also meets the middle tier of the most recent CE safety standard, showing that it gives more than just the basic level of protection. And with a full set of armor that includes higher level two impact protection at the shoulders and elbows, this is the most serious high summer jacket I've seen so far. So let's run through some of the things that make the Climb Induction Pro jacket what it is. The bulk of the outer is made from Climb's carbonite mesh material, which combines ventilation with protection. That material has been around for a while, but Climb have redeveloped it for 2021, and it's now more flexible than it was before, but they say it still offers the same protective qualities. I wore this jacket in some really roasting weather. When we recorded the riding shots for this video, it was up around the 30 degrees Celsius mark, and this jacket was an absolute godsend. With air flowing through the mesh, this jacket was considerably cooler than the regular textile jackets that we shot on the same day. And whenever I got the chance, I was reaching for this jacket to try and stay a little bit cooler. The carbonite mesh is reinforced where it needs to be in key impact areas like the shoulders and the elbows, and then around the hem and the cuffs to give the jacket some more structure. The shoulders and the cuffs are made from tough 750 denier cordura, and there's a more pliable 500 denier cordura around the main hem. The elbows are protected by goat hide for even tougher protection, and that's also perforated to keep the air flowing through there. The collar is neoprene lined for comfort, and it sits quite low on the neck because it doesn't need to guard against rain like a regular textile jacket. Main fastener is a simple zip up the front, and there's a protector at the bottom here to stop the bottom part of the zip scratching your bike's tank. The cuffs secure with Velcro tabs, and there's room to get a glove inside there, as long as it's not one with a heavily armored cuff of its own, like a race glove. The jacket has fit adjusters at the waist, also at the forearms, plus two external pockets at the waist, one at the chest, and then there's also a card pocket in the left sleeve down there. On the inside of this jacket, there's a quick drying mesh liner, one pocket at the chest, and then the pockets housing that impact armor. The armor is all by D3O, and the shoulder and elbows meet the higher level two of the CE standard, as I said earlier, and you can reposition the elbow armor so it actually covers your elbows if the standard position is wrong for you. The back protector insert comes as standard and it meets the basic level one of the CE safety standard. There's also a label on the inside that shows the Induction Pro meets the double A standard for garments in CE, and that's the middle of the three levels again, as I said earlier. So let's cover some of the bits this jacket doesn't have. At the risk of stating the bleeding obvious, there's no waterproofing, so you'll need to carry a separate over jacket if you think it's likely to rain while you're out on a ride. There's also no connection zip or loops for trousers, so this will need to sit entirely separately from whatever riding jeans you decide to match it to. One other thing we need to discuss as well is the price. The Induction Pro jacket is $479.99. That's a lot of money for something that riders, particularly here in the UK, are probably only gonna want for very short spells in any given year. But if the idea of a hot weather jacket like this appeals and you want the best, then I would say you're probably looking at it. I found it a huge relief to put this jacket on in high temperatures and there's a reassuring amount of protection available, yet the jacket's still very lightweight. If that price tag just sounds a little bit too high, then you might want to consider the straight induction jacket. This is the Induction Pro. There's also a straight induction, which is £120 or so cheaper at £349.99. That comes without the leather at the elbows, and there's also lighter cordura and lighter armour. But that jacket's also rated to the same AA level of the CE protection, so it's worth a look if you don't want to stretch out quite as far financially as you need to go for this Induction Pro jacket. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Climb Induction Pro textile jacket. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.